Well, I think as a, as a community of professionals, we need to make sure that we keep the pressure up to try and provide the kind of help and support that people with facial palsy need in the health services. In the meantime, there are a number of places that, that people can get help and support. Um, there's a charity called Changing Faces that has a range of excellent support materials that people can use themselves to understand better about what happens um, when, they, when they have a lack of self-confidence or when people behave towards them in a particular way, so that can be very helpful. If people feel that they would benef benefit from some, some additional support with their social and psychological issues, then I'd advise them to go to their GP or if they're receiving treatment from a hospital to their specialist to try and get referral. It is a bit of a problem in the sense that there may not be someone who specialises in this particular area for whom um, a referral might to, to whom a referral might be made. There's also a specialist unit for people with visible differences based in Bristol called Outlook and it is possible to get a referral from your GP or from your specialist to that centre.